hopefully. We, um, we're using DD Mega Doo Doo again, which you'll remember last time we used it. It did work, but we got soft locked through the game halfway through. Uh, I'm hoping and praying, screaming, crying, throwing out that that doesn't happen again. Uh, when I was testing it, it was working well. It was working better than it did for Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon, actually. But there's only one way to find out, you know. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Anyway, I here's was paying my attention center of operations, to, um... my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. Oh, she's still talking. I was going to say my thing, but I'll let her talk. Cases in there. A ah. lot of them were pretty dangerous. Sorry, I need to stop touching my eye. Really scary. <laughs> but don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. That lawnmower's going crazy. If you crazy. think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. I was going to say, um, the windows on the other side of her room that we saw when we were coming up made it look like she's on the second floor. But again, here, it looks like we're on the first floor. And then this angle, it looks like we're on the second floor. It's really a mystery. That's the biggest mystery. Yeah, she was going up the stairs. But then what's this? This makes no sense. All right, case file. Oh, I thought she was going to read it to me. Travel to Hawaii and spend three weeks working with Dr. Quigley Kim, an entomologist who needs someone to help her do field work on the big island. One of Ted's friends saw the want ad she ran in his alumni letter and thought of me. That is classic Nepo baby behavior. I won't get paid. I won't get paid, naturally, of course. Why would she need to? And I'm not exactly sure what someone who studies insects means by field work. <laughs> it means dirt, Nancy. It means hard work. But I do get a free plane ticket, and I'll be working outdoors in one of the most beautiful places in the world. The only thing that keeps- that kind of worries me is that instead of meeting me at the airport, <laughs> Dr. Kim wants me to take a bus. That's terrifying, Nancy. This woman's never taken a bus in her life to this little town on the southern coast of the Big Island. I'm supposed to pick up the keys from the vehicle she'll leave for me there from someone named Big Island Mike at Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursion Center, which means I'll have to drive to her field camp, which is deep in the rainforest by myself. But it's not like I'm going anywhere dangerous. I'll be in a tropical paradise. What could go wrong? Yeah, I'm sure they only discuss Hawaiian culture in the most sensitive of ways, of course. Junior detective, of course. Even though I am an experienced player. Junior detective, always. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Excellent. It didn't do that in my test, okay? It ran perfectly in the test. It didn't even crash. It just was like, oh, no. Not today. Rawr! <laughs> this is what Goose does if I leave the trash can out. If I leave the trash can out when we leave. If we come back and our house looks like this. And I bet he sounds like that too. Anyways. <laughs> I just noticed... It's kind of like they made one of those happy birthday signs and they didn't, like, put it in pencil before they started putting the marker down. Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursion. Sign up for an immersion excursion and experience this is like three pixels. Try it and 
trade-in system for... I can't even try and read it. I have seen the Big Island Mike Bucket Hat. I don't think it's for sale anymore, though. I do remember the Just Big the Island bus, Mike huh? Bucket Hat. If you're looking it's for beautiful. a real deal, Hawaiian vacation, you got off at the right spot. Actually, I'm looking for somebody named Big Island Mike. That's me. You by yourself? No, never say you're by yourself on vacation. Not really. My name's Nancy Drew. Well, just in case Safety. whoever told you about this place didn't give you the lowdown, here it is. You sign up with Big Island Mike, you'll live like a real Hawaiian. <laughs> work like they work, play like they play. No tourist stuff. From me, you get authentic. This is like one of those um scam nonprofits where they have like a bunch of like college students, <laughs> liberal college students go and work at a hostel for free in some country or do farm work. Well, that sounds good. That's exactly See, what's going on I'm here. Like a Only I don't make clothes, I make vacations. Sweet so eat, pray, love. Real, honest to goodness Hawaiian vacations, custom made to fit just you and you alone. You like the beach? I'll get you to the beach, but how big his hands I'll also are. Keep you busy. Busy doing things real Hawaiians have done for a thousand real. years. And you'll have a good time doing it. I'll make sure. In fact, I've got a couple of guys staying here about your age. They're from the mainland too. I got those boys surfing, boys. shelling, fishing, snorkeling, everything. You sign up, you'll do everything. He's too. trying to get us laid. Maybe even at the same time as them, huh? Mm hmm. Two boys, too. Getting crazy, Nancy. Sounds interesting, but I'm just here to pick up some car keys. Oh, you're the Wahine who's going to be working up there in the rainforest with Dr. Kim studying bugs. You're going to have to pick them up and put them in jars and stuff. <laughs> I don't think Dr. Kim will make me do anything too gross. I don't think Dr. Kim will make me do anything too gross. Horror. Do you? Better to be working for Dr. Kim than up at the Healy Healy. That doctor there, he makes people mess with stuff way worse than bugs. Why is he running a meth lab? What kind of stuff is he doing? Nobody knows. Big mystery. People who work at Healy Healy, Crypto? they never stay long. And when they leave, they don't talk. Startup? Well, I should probably get going. Dr. Kim arranged for you to use one of my rigs. Got the key right here, but you know what? I'm not going to give it to you. Terrifying. I don't think Dr. Kim's going to like that. A big island, Mike. Immersion excursion beats chasing bugs around the jungle any day. And to prove it, I'm not going to give you the key until you go to the beach. Quite the business model he has here. Trapping teenagers. And make a necklace for me. You can put the shells you find in here. Forcing them to do make labor. an aloha necklace. There's a picture of it over at the necklace making table. I sure did love but making I, necklaces though I really when I was think a kid. I should go meet Dr. Kim like I'm supposed to. You make the necklace, I give you the key. Only you know what? You're not going to want it anymore. You're going to walk on the beach, look for shells, sit and string them. You're going to get so relaxed. You're going to come back in here and oh, say, Carson and I go way you back. You were right, Big Island Mike. Forget the bug doctor. Carson Sign drill. me up. You'll see. <laughs> Nancy's going to discover herself, and then she's going to join an MLM Looks and live like out in Hawaii. Some kind of special money for this. I barely have any real money. Oh, Nancy. <laughs> Don't be so humble. You're rich. That's fun. All right. You are the man. We got to go make a necklace. Oh, what goodies can we get? Can we buy goodies? Ooh, we can get ourselves a little hula bobblehead. Oh my gosh, we can get ourselves a ukulele and make our own apology video. I don't know what that's called. I don't know what you would call that. But that's fun. A little surfer shack. Too bad it's closed. Whoever runs it is probably off surfing. Nancy is a detective after all. She's got that detective sense, I do have to say. <laughs> Nancy's a I mean Nancy's a lot of things to apologize for. I would say most of her behavior in the last game. <laughs> Harassing people about their dead moms. <laughs> That'd be a start. Hello? So did you the way they're frozen okay? there. Ned, hi. Oh, perfect timing. I just got here. In fact, I'm on the beach. It's the Hardy the Boys. The doctor's on the beach? No, I have to collect shells and make a <laughs> necklace before I can get the keys she's left for me. It's a long story. 
Well, I wish They're I could so hear dreamy. You, you believe me. It's done nothing but rain non-stop since I dropped you off at the airport. The sky blah, is just blah, this blah, constant Ned. shade of gray. It'd be depressing even with you here. But with you yeah, not here... Yeah, sounds like it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're not gonna believe this, but Frank and Joe Hardy are here. What? Oh, that's true. Nancy are, does are have a dead sure? mom. So it's fair. Positive. Hey, listen, I'll call you later, okay? But... Yeah, Bye. get out of here. Nancy? It's Hardy boy time. What are you doing here? <laughs> I just got here. I'm going to be helping this entomologist oh, dad heard about I do not do like this version of the Hardy Boys. What are you guys doing here? We got here yesterday. Believe These are not, not my boys. We're on assignment. Joe, keep it down. Richard Aikens, Oh, Nancy's mom was an international Aikens spy, and then she was killed. <laughs> she kind of a background check on Pua Mapu she was killed. Mike Mapu. She's um, an up-and-coming world-class surfer. He runs a local an organization that was Island trying Mike's to spread a super virus. Excursions. No kidding. It's I'm actually canon. I'm car at Big Island Mike's. What does this Aikens guy need a background check for? He's thinking about using Pua in the ad campaign for one of his products. Yeah, the he later games get a little sure <laughs> get a little out there. Of the yeah, that's in a game. It's Silent Spy. Since she teaches surfing for her dad, we signed up for one of his immersion excursions so we, we can, can play get it to know her and make sure she's as squeaky clean as yeah, she seems. Yeah, we can play it. Aikens figured someone who was closer to her own age could find out a lot more than some private investigator. So you were basically hired to vacation in Hawaii and learn how to surf. Is that what you're saying? Don't no, worry. that's not as the cat suit the one. <laughs> presents itself, we'll be doing some hardcore cat suit one is too. Phantom of Venice. Yeah. Aikens wants us to make sure Mapu's business is also squeaky clean. But the guy never leaves his office, which so far has made rummaging through his paperwork impossible. So you're doing field work for an entomologist? Yep. Just me and Dr. Kim and a couple of I thought we were friends. How did we not know where the friends. party boys were? Out there in the jungle. Well, watch out for Kane Okala. Aw, Joe. Aw, Joe. Watch out for who? Kane Okala. That's Hawaiian for rough-skinned man. He's this legendary guy who got half burned up in a volcano a millennium or two ago, and now whenever something really bad happens on the island, people well, start tell you saying they've seen him in the jungle. Well, I'll tell you what, these boys are smooth as a dolphin. He doesn't like messing with his island, see? So They're he goes greased on these up rampages. and ready for the beach. Apparently, his temper is as nasty as his complexion. And there have been a lot <laughs> of sightings lately, probably because of the pineapples. What's wrong with the pineapples? The pineapples have been growing so poorly on this part of the island that people say there may not even be a local crop this Goose year. Goose is out looking Nobody for the rough skin man. Although I'm willing to bet this Kane Okala guy could. Joe. If he really existed, which of course he does not. Happy, Frank? Well, I better get going. Good luck, you guys. <laughs> the way I they just stare. Phone, so keep in touch. You too. In fact, if there's anything you need out there food, toiletries, monster repellent call us anytime, okay? Oh, I will. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you, Nance. Oh, wait. You want to know something fun that you can only do in this game? Let me show you. Testing. One, two, three, test. You can change the interface. Testing. One, two. Th Did it work? There we go. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> Not the lead poisoning stare. Isn't that fun? And Nancy's got a sassy little flip phone. Now let's get some shells. <laughs> I like to imagine Nancy's just walking around in wet jeans. It seems like something she would do. I like the little clickety clack these things make. Sir? Scratching up the bed, as usual. <laughs> Nancy's like the troll under the bridge right now. Hmm, I forget how many shells we need exactly. Who's I promise you, it's fluffy enough. Do you see him over there? <laughs> I assure you, you'll be comfortable. You have a save pile just for making necklaces and fishing and you have amassed a thousand big island bucks? I might do that myself, honestly, afterwards. Because the thing is, um, it's kind of, well, you can only get some of the shells after you get the snorkeling kit, but there's no, like, in-game incentive to make those necklaces because you, you just need the snorkeling kit. Um, so a lot of the necklaces I didn't end up making. Big Island Mike told me to make an Aloha necklace. Ah, here we go. Ah. So what shells do I need? Do I have enough? Oh yeah, I think I do. Yes, I do. 
All right, Nancy. This is going to go on e on not eBay. Depop. It's going to be $40 on Depop Diva. All right. Oh, I need more. They spent that whole budget on that sliding animation, I tell you. All right. Come on. We need more shells, Nancy. Let's work. I tell you, if you ever want to just, like, get mad, go on Depop and look at some of the hideous things they're selling for an absurd amount of money. And I remember, um, I mean, I should have known better. It was my fault. I bought, like, a sweater vest off Depop. And then I looked at the tag and it was, like, from Shein. And it, like, had that chemical smell of something from Shein. And I'm like, well, this is what I get <laughs> for going on Depop. It's like Poshmark for e-girls, but literally everything is just people flipping stuff from Sheen. Or like they'll thrift something for like $2 and then they'll be like, Y2K slay, $50. It's actually crazy. Oh, we still need more white ones. Yeah, like, no, the $100 Yassified Baby Yodas, those are justified. Nancy would flip stuff on Depop, I agree. That's her side hustle. That's how she keeps up all these gigs. She's not getting paid for these. She never gets paid. I can't just keep walking down the beach. I need to collect shells. Nancy, so you gotta run. From Big Island Mike. Another. Okay. These shells respawn real fast, don't they? We're just wiping the ecosystem clean. Do we have enough now? A little surfer shack. Whoops. Too bad it's closed. Whoever runs it is probably off surfing. Dang it. Oh no, we just... We just need six. I was wrong. Oh well. I mean, yeah, she's a lawyer parent. There... A lot of lawyers are... Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. And by bootstraps... I mean, their parents who were also lawyers. Oh, y'all know what? Um, I started watching a new show because I've been thinking about, I've been needing a new show since I finished Gilmore Girls. I just started Outlander. And um, it, it has a lot of essay so far, which I don't like, but, oh wait, did I just goof it up? But I was like, I'm kind of researching <laughs> the Outlander fandom for video, and I'm not gonna lie, I got interested in this, like, romance story, so I wanted to give it a try, but then I was like, oh my gosh, it's kind of a violent show. I thought this was a sexy romance story. This is not fun at all, but it is interesting. It's kind of like Game of Thrones level. I'm hoping it tones down, but I'm not sure if it will. Yeah, it, it's the one where uh, a woman from 1945 gets sent back to They're beautiful. the Scottish I'll Highlands in like the 1700s. And, and she finds like her husband's ancestor is like <laughs> some British general. Hi, with the meme XD. All right, we've got our necklace. It is a lot of build up to the going back in time. It took like a solid You finished the necklace. 40 minutes for her to actually go back. I collected to those but yeah, two guys from the mainland. Don't That'd like the amount of great. essay in, in yeah, it keep thus the far. I made. Sorry. And I googled idea? it My after watching but the first the episode and apparently <laughs> that you. continues to be a theme. Hey. So, One more thing. Kane Okala. I don't know if I'll stick with it, but we'll try it. Cuz it's really popular. I assume it has to be good. That rough skin guy? <laughs> Not what about that rough skin it's guy? The at Healy Healy. They're doing something that Kane Okala doesn't like. That's why he's back. The people that say he's just a legend don't believe them. I'll remember that, really. Hope I don't regret this. Yeah. The rig's out front. 
Got a GPS system. We have a contract. Everything. The location of Dr. Kim's camp's me. already programmed in. Chicken Girls and Manny are also popular, and those are incredible pieces of television, Blue Star. <laughs> Did you not recommend them to me because they're high art? Well, it was nice meeting you. Mahalo. It was nominated for a daytime Emmy, Chicken Girls. Chicken Girls won a daytime Emmy. I don't know what you're talking about. Manny, I think, is a social experiment. <laughs> Chicken Girls, though, fantastic. You gotta pass that infrastructure bill. Crumbling infrastructure in America. Oh, wait. This isn't... Oh, awkward. <laughs> this isn't the camp. What if we just saw Nancy on that bridge? Well, that's probably fine. Yeah, yeah. Blue Star, you're, you're not wrong. Stuck in a ditch. Great. <laughs> Nancy's well, a great driver. Dr. Kim will be able to help me get it out. Uh-oh. Sounds like I missed a call. You have reached Nancy Drew, who is currently unavailable. <laughs> At the tone, Nancy please leave drives a like me. Hi, Nancy. It's Joe. <laughs> Listen. Big Island Mike heard on the radio that the bridge on the road leading to that bug lady's camp just washed out. Oh no. So I want to get this message before you get to her place. Because if you've already crossed the bridge, it sounds like you won't be able to get back into town for a couple of days. In any case, be careful. And again, if there's anything Frank or I can do, just holler. Take care. <laughs> so, on top exactly. of being stuck in a ditch, I'm stranded in the jungle. Well, at least I'm not alone. I mean, I won't be when I find Dr. Kim. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. What happened? And where's Dr. Kim? That's exactly what Goose does. When he's home alone. Alright. Uh, da, 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 da. A winch! A winch! Ooh, fun. Sudoku? That doesn't go there. What else we got? Somehow I've got to get this thing out of that ditch. A tape recorder. There's a tape in it. Looks like it needs to be rewound. Oh my gosh. Olden days. I'm Dr. Vintage. Kim, and this is an oral record of my activities on the Big Island, beginning with today, March 11th. We got Fran Drescher Hopefully for this. Hopefully I'll remember to use this thing every day, but I much prefer writing things down. And frankly, I don't care much for hearing myself on tape. It makes me sound very nasal for some strange reason. Of course, this whole recording <laughs> thing was my father's idea. I mean, just because he always kept an oral journal when he was in the field, he automatically assumed I'd want to, too. So we Let me know if the birds and stuff to... are too loud. <sighs> there I go again. Well, at least with this thing. When I start digressing, I can just push this button <laughs> well, The and... doctor sounds younger than Nancy. She probably is. Already, I'm forgetting to use this thing. Okay, now it's March 15th. My camp's all set up and my equipment's all ready to go. So tomorrow, I'm going to start rigging frass traps. I probably should have started doing that today, but I spent the whole morning observing a colony of feral bees. Man, I hope somebody answers the feral ad bees? I meant to replace in that newsletter. <laughs> what does that mean? I could spend the whole day observing whatever insect I want. Oh, would that be cool or what? <laughs> I think those are just bees. <laughs> March 19th. This has never happened to me before, ever. But when I was out checking traps in the jungle today, I got the weirdest feeling that I was being watched. I mean, it was broad daylight and I didn't see anybody or hear anything, but I just suddenly got this creepy feeling that I wasn't alone. Then after about three minutes, it went away. <laughs> Her I, interactive saw yeah, one episode of Lost. It was just weird. There's gonna be a March polar bear 24th. out here. For the past two days now, I've heard this very odd humming sound coming from way deep in the jungle. Okay, to be honest, it sounds more like whispering. One minute it's there, next minute it's gone. And I have no idea what's causing it. I don't even have Feral a theory bees. as to what's causing it. I hate that. No theory. 
It's March 28th. Great news. Actually, lots of great news. Oh, wait. I just got done with my initial Take a picture. content analysis, and it looks like something really strange is going on with the Norse beta odorata larvae around here. Once I run these numbers through my formula burr, machine, which burr, I'm retrieving from my burr, trunk, burr, burr. I Once I run these numbers, I'll know for sure. And I'm getting an assistant. Somebody named Nancy Drew has agreed to fly out here for a couple of weeks. Some and work idiot for named me, Nancy which Drew. Means I'm on the verge of fame, fortune, and free labor. Woo! We life good or what? We love. Well, Nancy can be exploited. She's fine. <laughs> those are the feral bees. I think those are the feral bees right there. Live on tape. The tape ran out. What was that? I sure hope Dr. Kim is okay. It sounded like a rough skinned man. All right. All right. Dr. Kim, are you here? Hello? Anybody here? Dr. Kim? Hello? She's gone. Ugh, I've got a oh, Nancy's for sure a trust this. fund baby. You can hear the texture of his skin and his grunting. Yoo-hoo! Oh, yoo-hoo! Anybody there? Yoo-hoo! 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 Nancy, welcome. Use this radio to call me at this frequency. 18.305. Yoo-hoo! 18... Eh. Eh. The radio doesn't have any power. Oh, right. We don't have the power thing up. Duh. That's not for me just yet. Must be Dr. Kim's notes. Whew, looks like Greek to me. Yeah, red, blue, purple, green. Who knows what that could mean? All right. Interesting lock. Four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two. Okay. That's blow. Blow. Blue. Lee. Oh wait, wrong way. Lee. Le. La. So it was Li La Ble La 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 Blue Eh? Eh? Gonna set up Lee. La. Le. Blue. Blue. Oh, blah, blah. I did mess that up. La. La. Blue. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so she like, hello? Malachi Herbert Craven. Why is she mumbling? IQ of 22. Maintains blog. <laughs> Maintains blog. Why is she speaking to herself? Rumor has it he has an IQ of 182. <laughs> right, Nancy, either you read the whole thing to me or or don't. Co-presenter hopelessly deluded morons wrote article how pure jealousy is destroying research science. I wrote the same thing for my law journal. Area code 312. Chicago, maybe? 312-555-9634. Okay, what else do we have in this trunk? A security pass for the Nancy's Healy talking Healy to herself research a lot. Center. She's losing it. Maybe someone there knows where Dr. Kim is. We got a hook.
Oh, we didn't have to write that down. Life works biochem. Dr. Kim, you're finally calling? Uh, yes, I am finally calling. What's wrong with your nose? You sound so normal. <laughs> Oh, well, I've been taking antihistamines. How did you get this number? Nancy's so crazy. Well, you see, I... Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, good talk, good talk. Ooh, we can make some s'mores. Whoops. Some kind of hook would be good here. Hook it up. <laughs> there you go, Nancy. There, it's out of the ditch. Not really. I mean, I guess. Okay. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Well, let's take this thing for a joyride then, shall we? Enhance. <laughs> Only the highest of technology here for Nancy Drew. All right, lady, hold it right there. <laughs> get down! Who are you? Where did you get that get pass? Get down, Mr. President! Uh, which question would you like me to answer first? That pass was not issued to you. Now, where did you get it? I found it. Be quiet. Where? There's no need to shout, okay? I mean, you don't even know who I am. You don't even know All who my right, father then. is. Who are you? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm Dr. Kim's temporary research assistant. Today's my first day. Are you... It is the place I'm that's Malachi worse than the bugs. I'm Malachi Craven, of course. I'm the head of this facility. Now explain yourself. I have that pass because when I arrived, Dr. Kim's base camp was all torn up and I couldn't find her anywhere. So I went searching through her stuff for something that might tell me where she is. I thought that since she had that pass, someone here could tell me where she is. Well, you thought wrong. And for your information, that pass was reported missing. She probably stole it weeks ago. The accusations. So you don't know where she is? What does this place look like to you? A missing persons bureau? This is a private a research facility with highly bureau. restricted access. All right, that's enough. Excuse me? You're jumping all over me when Wait the only hear. thing I did to you was <laughs> tell, tell you the father truth. About this. I know who you are, Dr. Craven. I know you're an incredibly gifted scientist whose work has never been fully appreciated. In fact, as an amateur horticulturist, I would give anything <laughs> an to know what you're doing with the plants in here. But being a genius does not give Don't you the right me. to be rude. You're too oh, sexy to yell I'm at me. I'm sorry, young lady. Everything you just said is quite correct. The genius part rings particularly <laughs> true. Science freak. How do you know about me? Internet, mostly. Your blog is awesome. Uh, that's true, too. If you're <laughs> interested in horticulture, blog. why are you assisting an entomologist? I had a professor in law, law school who would constantly be promoting his blog and... <laughs> Recently, he posted my take on the Barbie movie, and it made <laughs> it made me and my law school friends very nervous. But he actually he quite enjoyed it. He didn't have an interest in seeing it until the conserva he heard the conservative backlash, and he went. Um, <laughs> he's he's actually a lib, but he he acts like a conservative, so it's it's always very concerning. <laughs> we never quite know what he's going to say. He had a good time at the movie. He thought the drama was overblown. He's an ally. <laughs> well, bugs and plants do kind of go hand in hand. And when I heard there was a free round trip ticket to Hawaii involved. She's living it up, Smart Nancy. Girl. What makes you think Dr. Kim stole that security pass? I, uh, that was just my temper talking. I obviously have no reason to suspect the good doctor of any criminal activity whatsoever. Any chance you could give me a tour of this place? None whatsoever. This is a private facility. What? I'm under Give no obligation to put my work on display or explain what I'm doing to They're anyone, weed. except my employer, of course. Who's that? He'd rather I not say. 
Look here, Nancy. You're Don't obviously me. familiar with me and my previous accomplishments, so I know how exciting all this must be for you, but I'm simply not at liberty to discuss my current project, though it is truly spectacular. Sorry. Uh, if Goose is this universe's version of Nancy Drew, God help us all. <laughs> Have you ever met Dr. Kim? God help us all. Possibly. I don't honestly remember. From what I've read about her research, I have Wouldn't no be real Nancy desire Goose to or meet Goosey her. Goosey Drew. <laughs> I like Goosey Drew. I still need to find Dr. Kim, so I'd better go. Marvelous idea. Hmm. Somewhat to my surprise, I find that I actually don't mind talking to you. <laughs> oh, great. You see, I have a niece back in Philadelphia who's just about your age. Nice girl. Spunky. Insisted on majoring in English oh, or brother. sociology or some such drivel, but a very bright girl nonetheless. Unfortunately, her father, my brother, and I don't get along, so I... He's trauma dumping on me. Anymore. Anyway, what can I do for you? <laughs> What am I supposed to do with that? Guess I'd better go look for Dr. Kim. By all means, farewell. All right, anyways. Anyways. That was fun. I think we need him to get the little... We need to get cells so that our generator will work. Help. Solar panel. Looks like this is what powers the radio. Yeah, aha. Uh -huh. hmm, some of the photovoltaic cells are missing. <laughs> Must be always be yelled at by this hot old man. True, I can save. I can save. I'm capable of doing such a thing. Creature. Alright. Well, let's go get some cells. <laughs> yeah, Nancy didn't drive herself into a ditch this time. But just you wait. Nancy's gonna drive herself through the gate. State your business, please. Hi, I'd like to see Dr. Craven. Dr. Craven isn't seeing anybody right now, so just back your We car love up, sassy assistance in this me. franchise. No, no, Dr. Craven will see me. Really, just call him, please. <sighs> Dr. Craven? What? The young lady who... What? Dr. Craven, it's <laughs> me, Nancy voice ever gets Drew. Tired? I know you're busy, but I really enjoyed talking to you before. Could I come in just for a few minutes? Let her in. What is it now? I'm in desperate need of I'll some photovoltaic cells. I'll do anything for some so photovoltaic cells, cells Mr. Camp. Craven. And I know you're a big proponent of solar energy, so <laughs> could you by any chance spare me, say, nine cells? Tell you what, I think you I'll have to be a bad guy if your last you name is Craven. After you harvest at least a dozen seeds from those plants oh, down I'll there. harvest some seeds they for you. They represent an extremely promising cultivar that I've hybridized. Unfortunately, I've developed some kind of allergy to them, so that just being in the same room with them has me scratching like a being dog a in a flea circus. Who's allergic My to plants seems from rather unfortunate. Out of the question. But since you're here, you can do it. Just pick a few pods, pop them open, and put only viable seeds into the container. To know what I mean by viable, just read the notes that I left down there. Couldn't someone around here do it for you? <laughs> I run a lean, mean machine here. No one else has the time. Bring me 12 Please. viable seeds, and those cells are yours. All right, you heard the man. I'd love to see what's in that pocket. But if Dr. Craven caught me snooping He'd in kill his us. things... <sighs> <sighs> Monty Manila said acting. Viable seeds have a rich brown color and a distinct white splotch. Yummy, yummy. She just pops some in her mouth. Hum, 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 hum. It sounds like the champagne pop sound from iMovie, just like the stock pop sound. Snap, crack, pop. There, 12 viable seats, I hope. 
All I'm saying is that Dr. Craven could direct Scream and Nightmare on Elm Street, but Wes Craven could not be an evil pineapple science man. True. All right, I love getting viable seeds. Ooh. I want to see that, like, big lava lamp they got. I want a Finished? big evil lava lamp. Like I said, no problem. Very good. These will do just fine. I really want to and eat those. And so, as I promised, instruct Olsen to put <sighs> really a box of A3 photovoltaic cells into Miss Drew's vehicle as soon as possible. Right away, Dr. Craven. Unfortunately, even after I've destroyed those little green devils, I'm told it'll be some time before this itching stops. Isn't there something you could take for it? I was prescribed an antihistamine, but I'm afraid taking it will make me too sleepy to get them. any work done. Work done. I still need to find Dr. Kim, so he's on that grind set. He can't sleep. By all means, farewell. He's got one of those like weird sleep schedules where he has to nap like every two hours so he doesn't sleep a full night. Nancy Drew games do love a <laughs> hot, mean old man. They love getting Nancy getting yelled at. All right, let's do the puzzle. Where these new cells go must have something to do with the numbers on them. The numbers, Jack. What? What? All right, I'm pretty sure it's like Sudoku. All right, we need a three. And a six. And... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two. Or it's kind of just trial and error. Nailed it. There, it's working. Ah, so loud. Cool. Whee! Let there be energy. All right, let's give old Doctor Quigley a call. Power. That helps. Power. All right, eighteen three oh five. This is the most inefficient system in the world. Oops. Ah. Okay. Oh, wait, I didn't look at what channel it was. And... Eh? Eh? This radio sucks. Okay. Okay. Am I dumb? Where's like the call button? Or do we have to... Don't tell me you have to trial and error and see which channel works. This is hateful. It's on the mic? Oh, I just have to go to the mic. Okay. Silly, silly, silly. This is Nancy Drew calling Dr. Come Quigley in, Dr. Kim. Quigley. Dr. Kim, are you there? Yes, I've been worried about you. I've been worried about you. Your camp is a mess. Someone ransacked it. Where exactly are you? Four hours 
Well, if we can't find her, I think we Could just have to go enjoy our vacation. Dr. Kim, I can barely hear you. Could you repeat those coordinates, please? Nancy <laughs> sounds like she's about to cry. <laughs> Me too. No, wait, My first day as an internship. I don't know where you are. Dr. Kim! <laughs> Nancy Drew, calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Come in, please. Oh, great. All I heard was green trigger rock or something. How am I supposed to figure out where that is? <laughs> yeah, I, I'd be done by this point. I'd be like, all right, we tried. We gave it the old college try. We're not getting paid. No, not Ned, dear God. Hello? Hi, Joe, it's Nancy. Hey, Nancy, what's going on? I love how Frank and Joe well, share a phone. I finally got Big Island Mike to give me the keys to the car Dr. Kim Classic brothers. I started driving. Brothers by chance. Whoa. So what <laughs> did Dr. That. Kim say when you told her somebody or something had torn up her camp? Frankly, I'm not sure she heard me. The radio connection we had was really bad. In fact, she rattled off the coordinates of where she is now so I could plug them into my GPS, but all I heard was north 19 degrees 20-something. I think she said she was at Green Trigger Rock, but I could be wrong about that, too. I don't suppose you'd happen to have a map of the island, would you? No, but I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I'll even ask Big Island Mike. I'm still waiting for a chance to do some snooping around his desk. Well, if you find out anything, it's give Big me a call. Island, so... Remember, what Dr. Kim said sounded like Green Trigger Rock. Green Trigger Rock. Will do. Are you going to be able to get back here with the bridge washed out like that? No, but I'll be okay. That bridge is the least of my worries. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Uh, will you be okay? I would not be that calm about that sort of situation. Hey, what's up? Are you familiar with a place in the jungle around here called Green Trigger Rock or something like that? Never heard of it. And I know this island better than anybody. So if I haven't heard of it, trust me, there's no such place. Think you could explain this try it and trade it system of yours again? Real simple. Over at the necklace making table, there's pictures of the different necklaces you can make out of shells, okay? You collect shells, you make something, you turn it in, you get whatever the picture says it's worth in Big Island Bucks. You get enough Big Island Bucks, you can buy some fishing gear and bait. This is the MLM. You, fishing, you catch something, you turn it in, you get paid what it's worth. The better Hush, the bait you, buy, you were the bigger a the fish you catch, and the more Big Island Bucks you get. The more Big Island Bucks you get, the more stuff you can I can, can see how the Hardy Boys you would see, lead you down that dark, dark path. circle of fun. Everybody wins. Especially you, right? Since you get to keep everything we trade in? Hey, the more money I bring in, the less I gotta charge customers like you. You can put the shells you find Honestly, in here. I kind of love this scheme of exploiting tourists. Whenever you're go ready off. to turn something in, necklace, fish, whatever, go see Pua, not me. She's in charge of doling out the Big Island box. You're always in here working. Don't you ever get to get out and enjoy paradise yourself? Joe's trying to take well, him out on a date. Well, if catch me six Ulua, I'd have an excuse to drive him into the market in Hilo and on the way back do a little body surfing at this great little beach I know. Oh my gosh, we're going to body surf with Big Island Mike? I'm game, let's I'm game. go. What are Ulua? Big shore fish, real good eating. Just so happens I got their favorite food right Was here. Was there beef between well, the Winces Shippers off, guy, and Destiel? Not big guy. Did the Wincest and Destiel shippers fight? I don't really remember that. Whoa, earthquake! Whoa! <laughs> hey, Joe. Ready for another lesson? She's got a dead stare, doesn't she? She kind of... Is this mean? She kind of looks like handsome Squidward. Still recovering from the last one. She's she not a real person. A lot of water out there. It's fine. She's not a real person. Well, I'm sure Frank swallowed a lot of water the first couple of times you took him out, right? Actually, Frank's doing okay. He hasn't come off his board once. Of course, that might change when he actually stands up on it. Frank hasn't stood up yet? Oops. I probably shouldn't have said that. Look, how about we change the subject? Winces shippers believe they were morally better and justified? Windsor shippers believe that? Very interesting. <laughs> I mean, I 
I believe you. Shippers do have that audacity. That's just really funny. You feel the earthquake? Yeah, wasn't that great? You actually enjoy earthquakes? I love earthquakes. It's like standing up on a big, huge roller coaster. <laughs> being a buzzkill. You're not concerned about the damage they do? What good does being concerned do? Look, until somebody figures Bigoted out a way if you to didn't stop like earthquakes, they're going to happen. So I say, why not enjoy them? I mean, that is a classic um, shipping culture thing. Anybody who doesn't like your ship is bigoted, homophobic, like any any phobic you want to throw in there. Oh, let's ask about her How dead mom. How come I've never heard you say anything about your mom? She died when I was 10. Wow, that must have been tough. It was pretty awful at the time, but dad wanted to keep me busy, so he taught me how to surf, something my mom was always dead set against. He also quit working for the pineapple company and went into business for himself. She wouldn't have liked that either. So everything kind of turned out for the best. Yeah, so actually, if you think about it, it's kind of a good thing my mom died. That's not what she's saying, but... <laughs> What else do you like to do besides surf? Nothing. Oh, that's true. The finale did end with <laughs> with um, Castiel and Forever Hell and the boys being together. Fair point. I bet you like to play video games online because you can beat more people at one time that way. I surf till it gets too dark. I come home. I eat. I go to bed. I get up. I surf till I got to start teaching. I help my dad. That's it. That's my life. An adrenaline freak like you never does anything wild Joe's and crazy. Being so weird. I get all the kicks I'll ever need out Come on. there on you my board. You do a little bit of meth. <laughs> Come on. You've done a little bit of meth. I can tell. Are Frank and I your only pupils right now? Pretty much. You guys are the only excursions Dad's got going this week. I coach some local kids, but they've got finals. Ever wish your dad had chosen <laughs> some other way to make a living? These are very personal questions. Heck no. I mean... We don't live in a mansion or anything, but we got food, we got clothes, Dad gets to show off his island, and I get to surf. Far as I'm concerned, we got everything we need. I'll stop bugging you for now. It's been real. So real. Ooh, she's got like a rainbow surfboard. That's fun. This is the same fishing animation from Seeker of the Old Clock. The exact same. Gotcha. One Ulua down, five to go. What het ships were there in Supernatural? I thought all the female characters like would die after a, <laughs> like a season. Because the fans would like bully the writers into killing them off. Or I guess, um, doesn't Dean, not, not Dean. Now I get them confused because Gilmore Girls. Doesn't Sam subscribe? Like, <laughs> sorry, I read, I saw Sarah subscribe. Doesn't Sam end up with somebody in the end? Thank you for the, the sub, Sa Sarah. Hi, Lord. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, Sam and one of the demon girls who eventually died was a ship. I think I remember that. Yeah, the female characters did not have a good uh, living ratio on that show. Wasn't that one um, red-haired woman on Supernatural for a bit? I'm blanking on her name. But she used to be like really famous in nerd culture. Oh, he had a faceless wife, of course. Felicia Day, that's the one. Scarlett Johansson. Oh, I think Scarlett Johansson was on that show. Because they gotta reuse this fishing minigame asset as many times as possible. Nancy loves to fish. I blew that. <laughs> oh, I blew that. A lesbian who died for main characters? <laughs> main ca male main characters development? 
I can't believe it. I can't believe such a thing happened. On my supernatural? On my Christian supernatural? Oh yeah. Alright, don't get too excited, Joe. Just as exciting as fishing in real life. Oh, yeah. Alright. Chill out. Oh, yeah. They recorded one line for him. Oh. Oh, well, that's useless. Punk. We may have a different phone. Joe's got an old phone. Now... Hello. Come on. I can't believe Supernatural lasted that long. It 13 seasons? It's crazy. And it can't have been good after like six. And that's, I think that's being generous. Yeah, no show should have more than four seasons. I agree. But I feel like the first couple seasons of Supernatural, like people don't really talk about those because Castiel wasn't on it yet. He didn't even come in until season four. I feel like the show got popular at like season four and five. Gotcha. Come on, one more. Come on, come on, come on. My lord. I like how the ocean just starts getting totally still right here. Hi, Smitten Dusky. I've never seen an episode of The Vampire Diaries. Obviously, I like fell asleep to Jenny Nicholson's video on it very many times. I never really had an interest in watching it, though. I don't know why. I feel like Once Upon a Time was taking up a lot of my mental headspace. And I watched a lot of, like, British shows. Lua number six. That ought to do it. Like Merlin, Robin Hood, Sherlock, of course, but there weren't that many episodes of Sherlock. Oh my gosh, I remember the, when the third season premiered, I like made celebratory cupcakes <laughs> and we just screamed, I feel Joe, like, for the entire episode. My poor mom. <laughs> Poor's Poor's are asleep. It was Frank's turn to monopolize her time. So how'd you like that? Yeah, rhythm? somehow there were too many episodes of Sherlock. I was so mad at like the ending of Sherlock. It was it was so bad. Frankly, it was kind of scary. And but then I started to realize going, that sure. um, Pele must Moffat's just kind of a bad showrunner. <laughs> oh, Daisy Star Art, you're saving up points. How close are you? I'll tell you you're doomed soon enough. Pele? Hawaiian goddess of fire. Her home is in Kilauea Volcano. When she's mad, she makes the ground shake. When she's really mad, she sends lava down the mountain to gobble up her enemies. <laughs> yeah, they haven't gone well for anyone so far. Ragnarok, that's not true. Who are her enemies? People who oh, do bad right, check things in for my flight. to her island. Or like, fail to the show first her the one was respect. fine. <laughs> or people she just plain doesn't like. Who knows? Compared to Pele, Kane Okala is a noisy little fly. He's nothing. 
But enough about Pele. Go, get outside. You're in paradise. Enjoy. You're all doomed, but go, go outside. Those fish you wanted me to catch? Well, here they are. What do you think? Hey, you did it. Wasn't sure you were ready for him, but looks like I'm gonna have to stock the store with Ulua bait from now on. Tell Pua as soon as I'm done here, I'm driving up to Hilo. Last I saw, she was still right, get trying out of to here, teach guy. Frank how to surf. Your brother's a slow learner, huh? Welcome to my world, Mr. Mapu. Have a nice drive. Oh, I thought we were going on a date together. <laughs> Dean dates God's sister? Oh, hang on, hang on. Boom, okay. We're done. I literally gave myself a tattoo related to Sherlock when I was a teen, and now it's funny to look back on realizing how bad the show got. I probably would have gotten a Sherlock tattoo if I had if I had had the chance. I also have a cringy tattoo from my youth. Like that's gonna unlock this thing. I have one that's like the my first tattoo was the Deathly Hollows and the Triforce like on top of each other. Luckily, it's not just the Deathly Hollow sign. It's kind of like the only reason I still have it. 5th, and it's on my rib, so no one sees it. But JK, exclamation <laughs> point, exclamation point. Everyone needs one JK cringy is. fandom tattoo. Right? Oh, what does it look like, Hotch Kiss My Ass? Is it like a violin or the hat? Something like that? Do, 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 do. Anyways, how do I move about here? Oh, key right there. Duh. It's like a bee. I don't know if I remember the reference. Is it a barrel bee? So, if I were Green Trigger Rock, where would I be? And Three Finger Rock. <laughs> That's what that bug doctor must have said. I'll three show you three finger <laughs> I'd better call Nancy with these coordinates. You have reached Nancy Drew, who is currently unavailable. Nancy, what are you doing? At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Nance, good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are north 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 minutes, by west, 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. <laughs> Gosh, I'm hey. good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nance, good news. Oh, Joe. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. <laughs> the coordinates are dead. north, 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 We're down minutes, a boy. by west, 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> I wish they had the... I wish they had the thud at the end of that voicemail. <sighs> Alright, let's hit it. Let's go. Oh, do I have to actually enter the coordinates? Nine. Oh. No. 42. 155. Nine one. That's so many numbers. Nineteen. Forty. Yeah. Forty-two. One five five. Oh wait. <laughs> and one five five. Nine. I don't know how coordinates work. Yeah, that's not surprising. 1924. Duh. Okay. I goofed it. That's the answer. 
Oh, I loved American Horror Story. I watched an I circ was it called Circus? Or Freak Show. It was called Freak Show. That was the last season I watched. I don't even know if I finished it. I might have. But I remember being very disappointed in it because I thought it was gonna be like it, but then it it wasn't really. Because the trailers made it look like it was like it. It was all about the clown, and then the clown wasn't even that important of a character. I loved Merlin. Y'all, I went to the castle where they filmed Merlin and I cosplayed. <laughs> I went to the castle where they filmed Merlin and I cosplayed with my friend and my mom took me. And my mom thought it was the cutest thing. All right. Those aren't fingers, those are toes. Yeah, I can show y'all the pictures sometime. Tell you what, if someone, if someone redeems a show and tell, and you remind me, I'll, I'll show you all the pictures. What is that sound? Oh my gosh, I loved Morgana. She should have been gay. That's people talking shit in the woods. We have a show and tell! Okay. We can do that. Hang on, let me save first. Aw, yeah, my mom, my mom and I watched Merlin together too. Such a cute show. Alright, let's... Switch over to this. It'll take me a second. Here, I'll put this up. I think it's on my friend's page, so I'm going to... I don't want to put her information out there. Hmm... A lot of cringy photos, though. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's on my page. Do I tag her in it, though? Oh, I don't think I do. Okay, that's fine, then. That's fine. <laughs> Here we are. Hang on. Just a second. Just a second. <laughs> so, um, my friend, this is my friend Kayla. She was really into medieval stuff and would go to Ren Fairs. And, um, obviously her outfit's much nicer than mine. So I was borrowing her old dress. So she looks much cuter. But that's the Merlin Castle. There we are. And, um, it's like not a touristy place at all. And I remember like a little French boy walked out to us and was like, I like your outfits in French. It was crazy. We were like the only people there too. Hang on. Where's more pictures of us in the outfits? Like you can see, we were the only ones in there. But we need, we need pictures of the cosplay. Oh, here we are. Oh my gosh, babies. There we're going. I'm 5'4". She was, she was taller. She was like 5'7". Tall queen. It, it's a really cool castle, though. I'm surprised it's not more popular, to be honest. <laughs> we were literally the only people there. It was like perfect. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Look at us being dramatic. Sorry, I'm flipping. <laughs> what is this? It's in France. It's in like the French countryside. It's like, uh, we stayed overnight. It was maybe five or six hours from where we were. It was the Castle Pierre Fons, I believe. That's a blurry photo. Oh. There I am. I used to be like really obsessed with my eyes looking as big as possible in pictures. So I always smiled kind of nervously because I didn't want my eyes to like squint. So I just go. Because I didn't like how my how my eyes get like really small. Yeah, look how cool her outfit is. Her outfit's sick. And it got cooler too. She was always upgrading it. She wrote like her own medieval fantasy book too and self-published it. Kayla's cool. 
And so I'm just in her hand-me-downs. I mean, that was the fun part, too, I feel like, about being interested in, like, Renfair stuff when you lived in Europe, is you could actually, like, go to castles. Yeah, we love Kayla. Look at us, there we are. That's the throne room. She looks so regal and you look so awkward. It's very accurate. I was very, uh, I was a self-conscious kid. <laughs> uh, I mean, can you blame me? Like, look at her. Yeah, I went to the Ren Fair for the first time last year, but uh, I didn't have anything to wear. And none of the people I went with were dressed up either. But if I go again, I'd want to have something. This was like her timeline photo for the longest time. I think I took this picture. I was very proud of it. Oh no, it was this one. It was this one. It's a pretty sick picture. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> like, I always had this really awkward face. I don't know why I insisted on looking like that. Yeah, Daisy Star Art, I'm the same way. I've got like, I've got little baby cheeks and kind of small eyes. And I was very, you can tell I was very insecure about that back in the day. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you're, I was 15 in this, you know. You're supposed to be awkward when you're 15. Oh, she had a sick hood too. Look at her. Being all mysterious. There were so many pictures. Aww. So many. Let's see if there's any more good ones. This is what you would do back in the day, too. You would just post everything on Facebook. What is this? <laughs> Hello? What's what's going on here? We had a vision. <laughs> so serious up up there. Oh, that's cute. Oh, and then we had some Oh, this is where she's she's killing me. <laughs> this is the one where I'm being murdered. Ah, uh, good stuff. Aww. That's cute! Oh, I don't know why... <laughs> My mom probably took these pictures. Oh yeah, here we are. We were walking around... We were just walking around the town. And literally, like, no one was there. Because it's just like a normal French town. With this giant castle in it. We got bread. My mom still talks about this bread. She's like, remember when you all dressed up in Renaissance clothes and you just ate bread in the French countryside? We were staying in like a little bed and breakfast. I think we were like right staying right there. And so um, we're facing the castle in this picture. You can see the castle up on the hill from this angle. And I remember um, I... We went to this restaurant. It was like the only one that was open around the time we eat dinner because we're Americans and we eat at like six. And I got like a hamburger and Kayla got like some French beef thing. She took a risk and she literally, it was literally, it came out. It was just a hamburger without the bun and without the fries on the side. <laughs> it came with like a salad instead. But it was just like a little round of beef. And I'm like, well, Kayla, you tried. You tried to be adventurous and take in the culture. And I came out on top. That's just how it goes. Yeah, European, pe European people just get to live in this. It's not fair. Beef slab. Famous French beef slab. Aw, good times. <laughs> this one's my favorite, though. That's my favorite picture. All right, back to it. Burr, burr, burr. All right, you think this bridge is gonna go down? 
<laughs> Just stare at her bag. Hello? Are you Dr. Cam? You're She's got a sassy little bob. Better. Nancy Drew, I presume? Actually, both of the femme characters in this game have a sassy little bob. You're Dr. Kim? Please, just call me Quigley. Hearing someone call me Dr. Kim makes me think of my father. He was a herpetologist. He collected snakes, whereas I, from a very young age, collected insects, a hobby which he wholeheartedly endorsed. Of course, this I don't was know if I have any specific thoughts on Guinevere. My insects to his snakes. And to this day, I hate snakes. I like no the Morgana Guinevere you know. ships, no, though. Native species, at least. Nuts. If you're going to work for me, you cannot let this happen. And I liked her. What? W what happened? In case you hadn't noticed, I'm totally off subject here. Queen. I have a very bad habit of digressing. So from here on out, it's your job to keep me on task and focused. Understood? Okay. Good. Yeah, basement bats. You can you can I post a link into this tree so I can observe emotes. a nest of parasitic wasps. I believe it's a nest of Pristomeris hawaiianus. But Hymenoptera aren't yeah, really Yeah, I don't have any rules so on links. I could be wrong. As you know, I'm much more interested in Lepidoptera, the larva of which many usually, wasps uh, prey upon. The only person putting links is I'm studying Norsebeta Blue Star sending us Sandra Lee enough, information. Are themselves. Now, to my knowledge, the ichneumonid wasps I'm observing do not parasitize the larva of the Norsebeta, although Anarchy I... Anarchy in my chat. Nancy, I'm digressing here, am I not? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, stop it. Right now. Right. Well, she hates us. Let's get to work, shall we? Where's Ugh. the clipboard? I'd be crying. What clipboard? I told you to bring my clipboard when we talked on the radio. <laughs> I would burst into tears. Look, I'll go back and get it, okay? I don't know, Nancy. You're oh getting my off God. to a pretty shaky start here. I hate. The sooner you get my clipboard, the quicker we can get started. Oh shoot! She's so to mean to me for what? Well. She doesn't deserve to know. She's being mean. Speed through the jungle. Ah! Ah! All right, let's go get the dang clipboard and get the worst puzzle in this game. Let's do it. I don't know if I'm going to actually do the whole puzzle. We'll see. I just vaguely remember it being no fun and being very tedious. I don't even think I did it as a child. I think I just gave up and started collecting seashells. I know, if I was Nancy right now, I'd be cutting my losses. Like... There's not even really a mystery here. Her camp got trashed? A bear. A tropical bear. That's it. Mystery solved. I mean, Joe probably gets head trauma like every other day. Poor boy. I say we just cut our losses. Quigley? You've got my clipboard. Good. Let me have it. The first page is gone. Why'd you tear it off? <laughs> I, I didn't tear it, it off. Then She's triggering my it? fight or flight. I don't know. Nancy, I asked you to get ah! my clipboard. How could you screw up something as simple as that? I didn't tear that ah! page off. Whoever trashed your camp did. Trash my camp? What are you talking about? When I got there, your camp was a yeah, mess. Yeah, I'm not motivated to help this is. woman at all. It's like someone came in and just tore the place apart. Oh. Oh. Do you have any idea who did it? No. Well, life goes on. That missing page was critical, <laughs> but fortunately, it was not irreplaceable. I'll just have to collect what kind and of analyze accent would you say this again. is? Or should I say, you'll have to. Oh, good. No problem. You'll need to locate all my frass Lois jars Griffin. and empty each one into a color-coded bag. I thought Fran Drescher. Each jar will have baggies hanging nearby. Then <laughs> return to my base camp, sort the contents, record your counts, run them through my formula, and report back to me. Uh, could you maybe repeat that? 
It's all on the clipboard. Just do exactly what my notes say and you'll be fine. Uh... Don't breathe a word of this to anyone, but I'm on the verge of making a huge discovery here, Nancy. Huge! If the figure you arrive at confirms the one I arrived at yesterday, we are talking major, I big time, if... worldwide <laughs> fame. Everyone from, like, Oprah, Wisconsin talk just talked Somebody like her, even though. make a movie about this. In fact, I met this producer when I was in L.A. I wish it was a, a region-specific thing. Yet, but he has this thing about butterflies, so as you can imagine, we hit it off. Quigley. Yeah, no. Well, Let's get out of this. Dressing. Oh, right. Well, just get going. I'll give you the whole scoop after you do that analysis. Fame and fortune await. Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> ah, I dropped my pen. All right, we got to look at the bug poop or whatever. Did we fill it? Do we do that right? I hope so. We'll find out. Vegetation code. Hmm. Uh, I need my pen. Okay, I guess we did it. I'm gonna assume we did it. I'm gonna assume. Only good things happen when you assume famously. Okay. They don't even animate anything going in there, though. I love bananas. <laughs> I love minions. That's not true. What if it was, though? Would you even be shocked? Alright. We're picking up the bug poop one step at a time. Wait, am I missing? Green, orange, yellow. Green, orange, yellow. I mean, you couldn't escape minions for quite some time. Did I go through all the pages? Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What if I don't want to do this? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Fair point. But what if I don't want to? Also, where's the... Where's the green? Um... Oh, holly. I don't know. I'm gonna do some of these, but... I hate this puzzle. <laughs> I'll mark down which one is banana, at least. Yeah. I may perhaps cheat on this puzzle. But I at least want to- I need to find all the frash jars, at least. So, if I were this plant, what would I be called? I need to at least find all the thingy things. Blue is bananas? Blue? Oh, wait. Okay. Hmm. Why the scary music? Where are the other thingy things? I don't even know. I don't even know. Alright. Oh no, the microscope lens is broken. How, How am I gonna, am I gonna look at all this bug poop? Stuff without a microscope? Alright, hmm. looks like we can't Maybe do this yet. So sad. 
Oh, sad. Can't do that. Feels like Thanksgiving's coming too soon. That's just me. Feels like it came so fast. State your business. Oh, it's you. <laughs> what is it now? Nancy, as usual. I need a microscope lens to complete this job Dr. Kim gave me. I Only have thoroughly enjoyed talking you to you. Do you have one I could use? Of course, but I'm not running a charity here. If you want it, you'll have to Please, earn it. Dr. Craven, the plants I'll down do below anything. need to be fertilized. Think you could handle that? Right. We we do as a culture just skip Thanksgiving, don't we? You bet. Good. Here's the key to the enclosure housing the plants I want fertilized. Don't even think about leaving before you're finished. They need to be fed now. If you what make an do, error, it will be immediately apparent. And needless to say, I will be extremely upset. Got it. We're going to a buffet this year for Thanksgiving. A fancy buffet. But the thing is, because I don't eat meat, <laughs> it's a lot of money. And uh, most of the money, most of the cost, I presume, comes from the meat. So we're going to have to eat quite a bit for it to be financially sound. Yeah, Spit and Dusky is probably best if you don't know the history of Thanksgiving. Well, I mean... Certainly not the reason I celebrate it. Alright, let's make these little plants happy. how growing plants works, I think. And... Just spraying the rainbow on these guys. No, this doesn't make any sense. I could be trying to think through it logically, but it's more fun to just spray rainbow juice on them. Normally for Thanksgiving, our family doesn't eat traditional Thanksgiving food because my sister can't eat gluten and my mom and I are vegetarian. So like traditional Thanksgiving food does not work for any of those three things. So normally we have, um, we normally do a Mexican Thanksgiving. We have enchiladas, and we're still gonna do that on Wednesday, which is always my favorite part, personally. That should do it. Perfect. We did it. What is it now? I fertilized those plants. Good job. The microscope lens is yours. Anything else? It's been wonderful talking to you. Back it's to the so salt mines. Wonderful. Hi yes. Who's calling me? He did. What? Oh. No, 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 no. Those seedlings were irreplaceable. How could anyone be that stupid? Oh. <laughs> Tell me his name. <laughs> well, you tell Mr. Fighterman that he is fired. If he isn't off the premises in two minutes, I will come out there and throw him over the fence myself. Yikes. Okay, so he trashed the camp. That's the exact same noise. It's the exact same noise from the beginning. Ooh, mac and cheese. That sounds good. Oh, wait, I didn't need to come here. I mean, I do because I don't know where the other things are, but... We're just not looking in the right spot.
Yeah, there's the yellow. Propel. We already did purple. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Did the clipboard say cl clipboard? Clipboard say something like that? Two oh yeah. We gotta go there. We gotta go. Hi, weather nerdy boy. Okay, yeah, we have the coordinates. You're right. You're right. Thank you. I would have been wandering around here for hours. The music in the Nancy Drew games are always pretty solid. Alright, what are the coordinates here? What we got? No, I can't. I can't pull it up. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Uh, do, do, do. 19, 20, 30, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 33. Do y'all think coordinates are real? I think they're making it up. I don't trust them. Sounds like something invented by a man, you know. Yeah, coordinates as a concept. I don't think they're real. I think this is a lie. And I mean, because the Earth is flat, it like doesn't make sense, you know? <laughs> it, because the Earth is flat, none of it lines up, so we know it can't be real. Oh, well the nerdy boy, I hope you're staying safe out there. Oh my god, we gotta go see the creature! The creature of Kapu Cave. Yeah, thank you. Coordinates are a scam propagated by round earthers. That's what I've been saying. They're trying to trick us. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we got the bug poop. Look at all those webs. I wonder what spiders, many. Nancy. Why are there so many? I would say spiders, usually. I wonder what the deal is with this guy. And what's with all the animals on his teeth? What's with this cultural iconography I don't understand? Oh, Nancy. Oh, Nancy. All right, well, no vegetation for these two. Orange and green. Um, I don't think we've missed any death opportunities. Maybe we can get hit by our own car. I don't really... Well, actually, no, I, I do remember a way that we can die, but that's at, like, the very end of the game. There's a couple ways we can die at the end of the game. But I don't really know about any currently. Oh, just you wait for the volcano. That work. Um... Did we get the thingy thing? Oh, yeah, we did. Looks like this has a built-in scale. I can use that little built-in scale to weigh the frass. Frass. Orange. 250. Yeah, glad you're safe, WNB. Number of seeds. Place contents bag in a microscope, remove it, and sort all non frass. Alright, those are frass. No, wait a frass and record an analysis grid. Oh, okay. Note the number of seeds and record an analysis grid. Determine the detritus prominent number and record an analysis grid. 
Oh, okay. Brass and zip part. Okay, okay. Tedious. Oh my god, so tedious. So there's four seeds. Four seeds, and then which parts are brass? All right, I'm going to take a picture. Do, do, do. So I'm not constantly going back. All right. Blech. All right, let's waste some gosh darn for us. That's frass. That's seed. That's seed. That's seed. That's seed. Insect part. Insect part. Seed. Insect part. Is this frass? Or an insect part. I can't really tell. Um. Oh, that, that's because it's layered up. That's why. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know what part of the insect this is. Couldn't tell you. I'm not. That's why I'm not the bug expert. 437. And then, okay, so there's three frass. And then, see, I'm not going to do it for all of these. I'm at least going to do, like, one or two, so y'all get the idea. But we're not going to do all of them. It'll take way too long. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, oh, dang it, I forgot 543 what? <laughs> no! Five insect part seed frass. It's hateful. Insect part seed frass. Okay, 605. No vegetation. Ugh. Why I'm not a bug doctor. Orange. Oh. Orange is 11. Brass weight 37. Number of seeds 4. Detritus predominance. 605? Ugh. You're making a mood board for a toothbrush package? That's fun. Like a marketing thing? I love that. Part of me thought about being like a marketing major or doing like ads when I was in college. But then I realized, I'm like, if I'm not working for, like, a big brand, I wouldn't be interested. <laughs> like, I'm like, if it's not Netflix, I don't want it. I was very pretentious like that. Okay. Well, is this frass or a seed? No, I think that's a seed. Frass, wait. This is green. Ooh, a packaging design class. That sounds so fun. Although, to be honest, I don't know if I would have even the creative eye to do something like that, but it sounds fun. All right, and then it's insect seeds, grass, seeds. Okay, number of seeds is three. Um... And then... Oh, we don't know the vegetation code. That's fine. 
I'll just put 01 as a placeholder. <laughs> um, 44. 3, and then... Insect part, frass seeds, 505. 505. The gameplay of Nancy Drew really seems to be, how can we waste players' time? I mean, these games are only five hours long. Um, and like two hours if you know what you're doing. So they, they really had to pad it out with as much tedium as possible. Ugh, this one's no fun. Okay. First of all, so many insect parts. Too many insect parts. Do you think Nancy's just picking up these bug poop? little things with our bare hands? Probably. Um, that's seed. Seed. This is a frog. That's not an insect part. This is a shark tooth. This is a shark tooth. That's not an insect part. Okay. Someone's lying to Nancy several times. My god. Too much. Too much. I actually sat and tried to do this as a kid too. Can you imagine? Sharks are insects. Confirmed. Sharks and feral bees. All right. Ah! Ah! Okay. Red. 99. How many seeds? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 seeds, my lord. All right, so clearly seeds first, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Grass, insect part. Ugh. We love some data entry, though. One of my favorite parts about um, my job as a lawyer was doing discovery. And to be honest, if I ever go back to law, I would probably do like e-discovery part time. Because it's a lot of just like sorting through people's emails and reading people's emails and then being like, oh, their spam emails from Netflix aren't relevant. Click. And then like, it's basically like fancy control effing is what e-discovery is. It was so fun to me. And uh, my boss would always be so impressed with how fast I did it. And I'm like, I don't think they know about control F. <laughs> no one tell them about control F. 99, 12. Yeah, that's true. We are an intern. Always doing the data entry. And it's because I was the new lawyer, too, that they were making me do the discovery stuff. But I was like, joke's on you. I love doing menial tasks. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had to do ex Excel sheets. Too, Mike, Mike D. They were so they were so impressed with my Excel sheets I had to make, because I would also do like I would write up like patterns that I saw in the discovery data, or like um, it's it's hard to explain because we worked in construction law, so it's not really it's not really something I can explain to the normies, <laughs> but um, there would basically be like incident reports. And so I would write up, like, 
what the incident reports were, how much money um, it costs, and like any receipts I found that backed up that cost, and the dates and any emails related to that. And I would like put them put them each in like a little Excel sheet tab. And they were very impressed with me. But it wasn't that hard. <laughs> if I'm being honest, it wasn't that hard. Oh, bye, Spit and Dusky. Oh, good for you, Mike D. I always wish I knew how to code, and I realize I could teach myself, but... I wonder how long it would actually take me. I feel like quite a while. I don't think I have the mind for it. Dan thinks I could teach myself how to code, but he's a coder, so <laughs> he thinks it's easy. And then he's constantly fixing stuff for me, so I don't even know where he gets that idea. Do do do. Do do do. Uh, 150, one, oh, we don't have to count. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, it was probably grass. How many seeds? 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't understand how these are insect parts, but whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's frass. Insects, seeds. Do, do, do. You learned how to code while working full time too? Good for you, Mike D. Do, do, do. F. F. R. C. F. U C K. What a movie I should be on replay. Some holes in the sun. Okay. Um that was yellow. 150 14 Cancel student loan debt, please. Okay. Um, oh wait, so that's the only one I know, and no, green is also hello, hello, okay, and then propel, I how I said I was going to cheat, and I'm still just doing it by hand, I'm trying to prove I'm a real gamer. Except I'm not going to look up the plant. I'm going to look up the plants. Do, do, do. Um. Alright, get the shark teeth out of there. Da, 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 da. Do, do. Gosh. People look at stuff like this all day. People live like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And propel. One, one, nine, eleven. Number of seeds. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's uh, nine seeds, grass, seeds, insect, which means. Grass, seeds, insects, 205. Uh, lost my spot. 1199205. And then we just have blau. And then I'll just be a, a, a plant expert and I won't. <laughs> I'll just look up the plants and whatever I inevitably got wrong on this thing. Uh, not that. Shark teeth. This is supposed to be an educational game and they're not even tr pretending to be accurate. What, what is this? What are we learning here? Grass weight is 108. And there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then uh, 8 seeds and 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So it's insect part, grass, seeds. Probably 305, I'm guessing. Um, no. Insect part, grass, seeds, 505. So, 108. Eight. Five oh five. I think I got one of these wrong. <laughs> Is there no three oh five? I'm suspicious. Oh no. Not y'all explaining the depressing world of student loan debt. <laughs> it sucks. It really does suck. Okay, I'm gonna look up what I got wrong, inevitably. Okay. Kapu... Kapu cave press jars. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I did get some of these wrong. <laughs> we'll trust game boomers. But I mean, that doesn't sound like me. I'm always right. Uh, ninety-nine, one hundred eight, one nineteen, forty-four, thirty-seven, one fifty, twelve. Eight, nine, three, five, nine. How did I get this so wrong? Um, and then... Oh, Frass is still here. Don't worry. Oh, four, oh, six. Okay. I wasn't that far off. I can't go anywhere. I haven't inserted the clipboard into oh that gosh. formula machine thing yet. <laughs> I don't think that's how any of this works. Okay. All right, let's... This looks like an easy bake oven. Wonder what this thing does. What do you think it does, Nancy? <laughs> what does this button do? 
This is why we don't let Nepo babies get all these <laughs> Hawaii interns. 119,456. All right. All right. We got some nice, toasty little cake tins. I always wanted an easy bake oven as a kid, and I never got one. Yeah, I would love to know how the tech on that works. I really wanted to burn my fingers on an Easy Bake Oven. Is that too much to ask? Just get my little phalanges in there. I think it's just like a really hot light bulb. I think that number is supposed to represent the number of bug poops. I don't even know. Nancy doesn't even know. <laughs> Nancy did nothing to earn this Quigley? position. Yoo-hoo! Quigley! Yoo-hoo! What? I just wondered if you knew what the deal is with all those <laughs> webs at Kabu K. Don't worry, they were made by North of Ada Larkin, Also, we did the thing. I mean, spiders. I'm not sure why they like that cave so much. Must have something to do with their food supply. Oh, I was just curious. I'll get back to work. Quickly, can I talk to you? We did it. <laughs> Nancy's like, okay, I'll walk away now. Well, I'm all done. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay, tell me. All right. Well, the number your formula machine came up with was 119,456. <laughs> yes, yes, it really is true. Okay, it's I've the number of larva. The biggest bloom of Norsa Beta larva ever Yeah, recorded. Madison, I think that's why I didn't get one. <laughs> I'm almost like you can just fake. Thank you. I just wish I knew what you were talking about. I know. About. I thought she was going to yell at us too. That for some reason, the Norsa Beta Odorata in this area, maybe on the whole island, are reproducing at an unheard of rate. They're getting horny. It's all because of Kane Okala. What Rough are Norsa Beta Odorata? <laughs> it's doing it's something to these bugs. And to have it suddenly be producing 10 times more larvae than usual? It's huge! Nothing like this has ever happened before, anywhere! It's as if you woke up one morning and found a thousand baby robins in your front yard. It just doesn't happen. To you. Okay, you've confirmed what is happening. Now we need to, to figure you. out why it's happening. You need to analyze the contents of those frass no. jars. The notes on my clipboard will tell you how to go about it. We need to know what all those Norse beta caterpillars have been eating. No. Uh, you mean the stuff in those jars is, I mean, came from caterpillars? Of course, they're frass jars. But before you start your Nancy, analysis, please. you need to get a sample of whatever it is that Malachi Craven is secretly growing up there at the Healy Healy. Even if it means All right, in. commit a crime. That's, that's what, what I'm hearing. Caterpillars have been eating. Something big's going on here, Nancy. Let's make history and find out what. Okay. All right. I wish I could just hang out in a tree all day. Wee! Sassy and frassy, that's right. <laughs> well, let's go ahead. We got nothing better to do. Might as well break into a secret research facility. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum bum. State your business. Oh, it's you. I'm supposed to let you in. <laughs> We're regulars here. Dr. Craven? <gasps> Sound asleep. Let's poke him. He must have decided to take that antihistamine after all. Perfect. Oh, there is a death scene. All right, I'll give you the death scene. Oh my gosh. This is a page that was torn off Quigley's clipboard, which means the person who trashed You mean we could have not done that? Dr. Craven? <laughs> Beat him to the plants. We could have just not done all this? <laughs> oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> this is a really long cutscene. Okay, let's see. The name of the guy Dr. Craven fired was Fighterman or something. Yeah, we're gonna drug him. <gasps> you young lady would appear to be in very deep trouble. 
Did that do anything for any of you freaks? <laughs> any of y'all like that? Hi, Freelark! We just got yelled at. Glory <laughs> Hydrixelically baby. Uh oh, how do I turn this thing off? <laughs> Honestly, he's been yelling at us this whole time, so that didn't do much, did it? Alright, we gotta watch him snore. Okay, let's see. The name the guy Dr. Craven fired was Spiderman or something. Do do do. Um, oh, we gotta find out his number. Here we go. Fighterman, number 14-667-93. All right, Nancy, maybe not reading all this aloud while we're sneaking in. 14. All right. Looks like employee number 14 Nancy, I can figure it out. Otherwise known as Fighterman, is assigned to Locker Nancy's not letting me solve anything today. R4L2L7 she said, R9. I got this. Don't you worry. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. I didn't want to solve anything. Which locker was it? <laughs> Wait. Hang on. <laughs> I was just like, Nancy, I could do this on myself. By myself. I forgot. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I thought I saw my own last name. No. Uh, level three. Locker number 13. All right. Do, 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 Um, <laughs> right for, whoops, that's the reset button. Or left. Left two. This is not a proper lock. Left seven. R nine. <laughs> These PNGs of children in there. This All right. Those men in yellow off my is this back. not Among Us? I mean, <laughs> I think this is just Among Us. Do 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 do. <laughs> There's about a jillion plants in here. How am I supposed to know which one to take a sample from? Do do do. All right, we're being a sussy baka. <laughs> There's some child labor violations being committed here, I think. I love the real images in Nancy Drew games. They never fail to amuse. Maybe this will help me figure out what plan I'm looking for. Um. Ian. Fourteen. Six. Six. Seven. Ninety-three. Among Us is still very cool and relevant. Thank you very much. Shit. Uh, yeah. Let's see what this place has been sending to whom lately. Okay, fine. Counts. That doesn't sound very helpful. God forbid it's I surprised. figure it out on my own, Nancy. That doesn't sound very helpful either. Nancy! <laughs> oh, Richard Aikens, Richard the, Aikens the Hardy Boys Aikens guy. Biotech? That's who hired Frank and Joe Hardy to check out the mob. C21 was extracted. Oh, they're streaming Among Us right now. See, very cool. I've never actually played it. You need friends to play it, or you play with children, I guess. Yes, I'm doing junior detective. Something tells me that's the plan I need to get a sample from. Extract codes. Maybe that's what FERC21 is. An extract code. 
Oh my gosh, Nancy's really Nancy's Looks planning like today. Of substances and the names of the beds <laughs> containing the plants they came oh from. Yes, it says here that FERC 21 was extracted from the plants in bed HH3333. And according to that note, oh, Dr. well, Craig, yeah, maybe. You have a point with me, Mexty. <laughs> maybe there'd be less hints. But I feel like normally it, it just impacts the puzzles, not her, like, talking to you. Red alert. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to have to stay Red alert. On out. <laughs> There's been a body reported. Of course. Waverly here. <laughs> Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over. You're walking like he's got a poop. Hey! You over there! <laughs> Stop! I'll write you! Hold it right there! Say goodnight, Gracie. Couldn't find the thing. Oh, it's right there. It's literally okay, right there. Little plant. This won't hurt a bit. Uh, there we go. Hey, you over there! Stop! Hold it <laughs> right there, pal. Fault. You're not going anywhere. Say <laughs> goodnight, Gracie. Ah. All right. Did it? Did I get the plant? Okay, I got the plant. Yeah, poop. Hey, you <laughs> over there! Stop! Hold it right there, pal. You're not going anywhere. Say goodnight, Gracie. All right, I need to stop being such a dummy little, little sussy baka. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Hey, you! Stop! Grab him! He's that imposter! He's imposter! Right You're not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm busted. <laughs> Nancy's the imposter! Alright, now I need it. It's so abrupt. Still no sign of the intruder. Over. Hey! You <laughs> over there! Stop! Hold it right there, pal! You're not going anywhere. I'm busted. All right. <laughs> hey, you! Stop! Grab him! He's that imposter! I'll write you. <laughs> Hold him right there. Damn it. I, I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. I do it instinctively. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over. Ugh, okay. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone on you. We're good. We're oh, good. <laughs> ah, save, save, save. All right. Well, it took me a couple of tries. Just a couple. We did it. We did it, Joe. Yeah, first try. We're making decent progress, though. I haven't checked my... I haven't checked anything off my task Can't list. check that off. Done. Oh. Call. Check. Did that. Check. Look at all the stuff haven't we did. Haven't done that yet. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Done. Haven't done that yet. Haven't done that. Check. Done. Check. Done. Did that. Check at us. Done. Check. Did. Check. Check. Did that. Look did at that. us. Done. Did that. Done. Did, did that. Done. Did that. Done. Did that. Haven't done. Basically, did Nancy's that. exploring Jurassic Park. Done. Did that. Call Ned back and apologize for hanging up so abruptly when Frank and Joe Hardy walk by. We will be doing no such thing. We will be doing no such thing. Excuse me? There's that weird whispering again. Yeah, Ned who? I'm in Hawaii. I'm on vacation. Relationships don't count when you're on vacation. That's just the rule of life. <laughs> I 
To analyze contents of frass jars, put frass sample into empty two. Add two drops of BQ19. Put possible source material. Okay. And yep. Bug bug bug. Okay. <laughs> we do have fun here. Uh oh. The color of the leaf sample from the Healy Healy doesn't match the color of the frass sample. Oh, I guess I better go tell Quigley. Relark, I did, but we talked about this on on stream. I have no memory of it. Except the only thing I do remember is like there's a scene where <laughs> Nancy gives like a little boy's mouth to mouth. And then everyone laughs at her for like fa like saving a boy's life, even though he was just like pretending to faint or something. And I'm like, she's a hero. I don't know what y'all are on about. I really want to rewatch it and see if it holds up. All right, Dr. Quigley's probably going to yell at us again. Can't yell that. Let's get ready for it. Quigley, can I talk to you? I can't come down right now. The wasps I'm observing are doing some kind of dance and I'm taking notes. That's fun. Whatever those caterpillars have been eating is not what Dr. Craven's been growing at the Healy Healy. No, now Nancy's yelling. Dance? Everyone's yelling in this game. No, what should I do now? Okay, listen up. Uh, Open my pack down there. Take out the container of canopy samples I collected. Busy work. Busy work. Why no one likes Got this game. That? Got it. Alright, we just took like her <laughs> her weekly pill container, it looks like. We just took her Adderall, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna sell our meds on the black market. Deep in the jungle. I make it look like Nancy's like helicoptering into all of these places. Where? They're doing too much. Okay. I don't need to analyze that. I don't need to analyze that. What do you mean? Um. Well, I remember which one it is. A match. So, looks like those caterpillars have been eating fritillated flag beetles. Whatever they are. Do y'all remember who played Ned? Was it someone famous or just like some random? I don't even remember what Ned looked like. Oh, hi, Nut Lizzie. Ooh, like decor. I have like flowers and stuff and like little paper butterflies pinned to the top of my car, which apparently um, makes you more likely to um, get targeted <laughs> by criminals because they they know it's a girl driving the car. So that's fun. But it's okay. It's the risk I take. Yeah, they really said walk all the way through the jungle. All the way. We gotta make this Quigley? game as long as Could possible. You come down here? Have you got something? Well, it looks to me like those caterpillars have been eating nothing but fritillated flag beetles. Fritillated flag beetles? No, no, that's not possible. You're <laughs> getting a sticker that says, please let me merge before, before I cry. Excellent. Y'all are my little fritillated frag beetles. Flag beetles. <laughs> not frag. Flag beetles. I've never even heard of a fritillated flag beetle. The That's a tongue twister. The beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying at an even greater rate than the Norse Abena are. The question is, why? Fame and fortune just got put on hold, oh, Nancy. No. We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. It's a conspiracy. Where are you going? Up. 
I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. I've carried you long enough, Nancy. You're it crossed your out own. ten zero oh, minutes since last time I got serious and, and string. I'm There's just giving you some safety advice that I don't live by. I found it at Kapu Cave <laughs> when I was setting out frog traps. Maybe you can figure out what it's for. Darn things got me stuck. Okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> so fun. Um. Let's just call the boys. No, not that. Hang up. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> God. <laughs> I can do this. Why is it a touch screen? It makes no sense for it to be a touch screen. Okay. Struggling. Hello. Frank? Well, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry, Frank, I didn't guess I expected Joe to answer. Expect to hear from well, you. as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. <laughs> what? What happened? I remember that. Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's Immersion Center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. He did? Turned around and wham! Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. Is he gonna be okay? He'll be fine. Oh, the doctor's yeah. just doing their usual observation thing. Joe knows the drill. So what's going on with you? Well, let's see. Fade to black. Phew. This Quigley lady <laughs> sounds like she's gonna be Phew. a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? Nope. So far, so good. But I discovered something that you might be interested in. Oh, yeah? Well, I was taking kind of an unauthorized tour of the Healy Healy While Research Center. While you were Center. snooping. While I was snooping, I came across <laughs> the name of the person now at just Craven talking over her. For. Richard Akins. Our Richard Akins? Of Akins Biotech? Mm. Yep. Wow, that is interesting. Whatever that means. I'm not sure what it means, but it's certainly <laughs> food for thought. I don't know I what's going on in this mystery. Anyway, if I find out anything else, I'll let you know. Yeah, please do. Talk to you later. Call Bye. Ned Sitter Bye. and make sure he's okay. I will do no such thing. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the American Teens Against Crime Secure Network. He's calling from a secured line. My god. They're doing too much. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Te wait. Oh, wait. Testing, one. Testing, one. Eh? Whatever. Eh? Frank, how's your brother? You back from the clinic We're yet? We're suing. No, they wanted to keep him under observation We're for a while. We're suing. But he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard-headed. Any idea who clobbered him? Like I told the cops, probably just some bum who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. Hmm, does that happen a lot? Does that happen a lot? A couple times a year. As soon as they see me, they run like heck, but today I wasn't around, so... Couple Somebody times a year? Himself. Hmm. Is anything missing? Nope. Nothing. Sussy. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, except for your brother getting wild. Not no like big that. deal, actually. Not no big deal. My brother and I would feel a lot better if we knew who did it. You want to look around? Play detective like on TV? You go right ahead. <laughs> I will. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Whatever. Here, should we call our, our biotech guy? As an American teen against crime? Richard Akins. Hello, Mr. Akins. This is Frank Hardy. Calling from Hawaii? Yes, of course. In fact, I just got out of a meeting in which Pua Mapu was the main topic of discussion. Marketing is enthusiastic about using her, but they need to move quickly, so... If there's anything unsavory about the Mapus, I must know now. Unfortunately, my brother was in the process <laughs> yeah, that'll of looking do it. around Mike Mapu's office when he was knocked unconscious. That'll do it, I would say. Oh, heavens, is he all right? The clinic wants to keep him under observation for a while, that's all. The bad part is, he didn't see who did it. Do you think the Mapus had something to do with it? Immediately that? accused, yes. Yes, it's possible. Mike Mapu said it was probably just somebody who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. Um, but I won't know anything for sure until I do a lot more checking. 
Please, do it quickly. Time is of the essence. Hmm. What do you know about the what Healy Healy know? Research Center? Never heard of it. It's out here where <gasps> we are, in Hawaii. That's Look, not true, Ellen. Why are you asking me stupid questions? Just go do what I hired you to do. He killed somebody. I don't know how it relates to the mystery, but I think he killed somebody. What's the real reason What's you the hired real us? What's the real reason you hired us, Mr. Aikens? Someone is dead, exactly. Hilly, hilly are none of your concern. It's just that Joe and I, we don't like being lied to. So unless you tell us the truth, like now, Ooh, he's being we're going to be on the detective. next flight out of here. All right. My company, <gasps> the Hilly Hilly. The late scientist breaks down really easy. is working on a top secret revolutionary product. Consequently, the less publicity the facility <laughs> receives, the better. But for some reason, no one knows what's happening, Madison. Mike no one knows. My character has been spreading vicious rumors about the Hilly Hilly. Uh -huh. And if the press picks up on them and starts sniffing around, the whole project could be compromised. So I hired you to dig up some dirt on Mop. <laughs> so you could blackmail him into shutting up. I prefer to call it fighting fire with fire. Uh, fire. <laughs> The things he's been saying about the Healy Healy, are they just rumors? I assure you, what we are doing at the Healy Healy does not involve destroying pineapples. Quite the contrary. He sounds now, um, very I trustworthy. I for the subterfuge, but I was afraid the truth would only confuse things. You can quit if you want, but if the Mafus are up to You can quit if you want. And if you I could have done away, this. You can't exactly claim the moral high ground either. We're not quitters, Mr. Akins. We just like to know the facts. If we walk away, we can't claim the moral high ground? I think we can, actually. Jeez, okay. Hey, Frank, how's Joe doing? He's okay, but he'd feel Let's a lot get her better scared. if he knew who attacked him like that. I have no idea who that guy was or what he was up to. I should contact Nothing her interactive. Like ever happened to a guest before, ever. You're not gonna like sue us or anything, <laughs> are you? Maybe. I mean, we are friends with this girl Maybe. whose father is a bigwig attorney back home. You're kidding, right? About our friend's dad? No. But about suing you? If my brother sued someone every time he got smacked upside the head, we'd be in court for decades. <sighs> That's a relief. <laughs> Such a relief. Uh, the last game was 2019, Weather Nerdy Boy. We played we played it. Uh, Midnight in Salem a couple months ago. Is it true? Rumor has it you'll buy fish from Is me. Is it true you'll buy these fish from me? Let's see. Looking good. There you go. My god, we're poor. Oh. Okay, what else? What do you think about all this Kane Okala stuff? <laughs> Which Hardy Boy is supposed say. to be the cool one? Uh... Neither of them are that cool. Joe, I guess. If I ever... Oh, EC Wilco. I have never played Untitled Goose Game, but my goose tattoo is based on the game. Like, it's Flash. Eh. It is inspired by Untitled Goose Game. We could play it. I'd be down for that. Well, can you blame well, me? Well, can you blame me? Look, first the Healy Healy Center closes its doors to visitors and gets real secretive about what it's doing up there. Then something goes wrong. Oh, with the uh, basement crop. bats. Coincidence? We called. I don't think so. I mean, Frank. Kanye Okada and whenever you call each other, you switch places. The islands. Why shouldn't I believe that he's back? So now we're we're investigating why our our brother is in the hospital with a concussion, um, and. <laughs> You missed, we called our boss and our boss was like, all right, I am a bad guy. And so what about it? And he's like, I own the Healy Healy and I hired you to look up blackmail on the Mapus, like the Big Island Mike and her. And he was like, and I'm, but I didn't kill anybody and there's nothing wrong with the pineapple. So bye bye. And that's what happened. <laughs> oh, let's just be real rude. Because this is the 21st he's century. He's just a myth. Just I think I myth. know more about My your culture than YouTube, genius. My dad said that after the genius. attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, people saw Kane Okala all over the place, including my grandfather. You gonna call my grandfather a liar? I'm saying that sometimes people, especially superstitious people, sometimes they see what they want to see. 
Well, I'm not the least bit superstitious, and I swear to you, I'm a little stitious. I have seen Kane Okala. Now, Amscre, I gotta work. Not the pig Latin. She got mad at us. She got mad at us. Look at her. Look at those grippers. <laughs> she inherited those from Big Island Mike. Big ol' feet. Why is the sandal, like, halfway up her foot? I can't be comfortable. Alright, I think we're gonna... <laughs> I know, she is... Look at that. She does calf raises every day. Every day. Uh. Uh. Oh, I thought I could get her to look up at us. She could beat us up. She better not be the bad guy. She'll beat us up. All right, let me save. I think that'll be it for tonight. Cause I don't think there's a lot left in this game. This game isn't super long. So we're gonna stop now so we still have enough content for next week. But Untitled Goose Game is a good idea. I think we can do that for Tuesday. Mike D2, you've been here for like two hours and you're just now following? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm just teasing. All right. Let me exit out of here. Mike 262 is now following. See, even the text to speech announced it. Oh, don't worry, Mike D262. Normally it's me dragging down the conversation here. Trust me, chat knows. <laughs> Normally I'm the one bringing things down. So don't you worry. But everyone, have a good night. Have a good weekend. And I'll see y'all on Tuesday, okay? Bye.